I've been accused sometimes of pulling out my degrees and hitting people over the head. So let me go back a little bit and give kind of a backstory here a little bit. Okay. Um, one of the attacks that I get because I'm a flat earther is, well, you're stupid, you're an idiot, you're dumb, you're a retard. Well, if you're going to make these these accusations, then I can tell you I have an IQ over 140. My GPA was 4.0 in my bachelor's degree. My GPA for my master's was 3.75, was an A+. Plus. Now, my national registry, I graduated to the top of my class. I don't know. That doesn't sound like an idiot to me. But my thing is, why shouldn't I be able to say that if you're going to attack me on my intelligence? Mm-hmm. So I think there needs to be some, some, some fairness in the field going, hey, if you're going to come at me like that, I have, a, I have a right then to lay my resume in front of you and tell you to fuck off. I, w- I would agree with that. Uh, the only thing that I would add that to or add to it is that if you use specific parts of the resume to support your claims – then that part of your resume is opened up for more scrutiny. Give me an example. Um, because because if you're if you're referring to my DD two fourteen. No 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 I no no not, not that at okay, all, all not right. that at all. Okay. okay. No, okay. what I'm saying okay. is like, if we're talking about gas pressure, if the conversation is mm-hmm. gas pressure, and then okay. you pull out something from your resume that shows this is why I'm right about gas pressure. Because you've used that from your resume, to me, I would say that that part of your resume is now opened up for scrutiny. Okay, as long as we understand it in context, because yes. oftentimes it's been taken out of context. Yes. Because, for example, when I'm talking about gas pressure, and somebody goes, "Well, you're an idiot. You're stupid." I'm like, "Well, I've got a master's degree, a master in science degree. Now, it's a science of technology degree. Granted, it's not a physics degree. I never said it was, but it is a certain le- graduate level of degree. So." Regardless of speciality, that just because I have a master of science in instructional design technology does not mean I haven't studied physics. I have a lot of background in physics. I have a lot of background in biology. I have a lot of background in chemistry and biochemistry. I was a medic, and I studied medicine and the body and biochemistry for many, many years. Is it on a, is it on a, on a document to prove that? No. But I do have transcripts from different colleges where I yeah. have chemistry, biochemistry, biology, you know, that, that didn't necessarily count for a certain degree. But there's, mm-hmm. I've got hours and hours and hours and hours of college that never went towards any degree. I, I went to University yeah. of Alaska, Duke University. I've been a lot of places. So I've got transcripts for all those. So, my my position think, would be, like, like I said, so you saying that I've been through these schools, I've got these, these grade point averages – just that does support you're not an idiot. It doesn't open up us to dig through your transcripts because you're just showing, right. look at my GPA, I'm not an right. idiot. But then if I you agree. pull, I... when you pull out, I have a master's in science and technology and use that as support, to me, I think that opens it up so that we can see what the science behind your degree was and see how right. high that raises your expertise, knowledge, know-how, in the topic at hand. Well, if absolutely. But I don't think I've ever used my Master's of Science in Instructional Design and Technology to offset gas pressure. He thinks he has proof, and I don't think he has proof. All right. Um... Okay, well, what, what and is proof? And I'm not against the firmament. Is, if a firmament's is there, proof? it's there. But what you don't proof? have proof yet. What is proof? I don't think you have proof yet. I'm yes, not going to say there is one or isn't one because I don't if know. Understood what gas I'm willing was, to gas admit to you. Is proof. Let's see. I'm willing to admit to you that I don't know, and that's what okay, I'm saying. I don't I feel that you're doing. I do know. And how are we going to get to any kind of reality here if we can't stay open-minded when we actually, if somebody comes along and trumps your theory, well, sure you got to just bite it and say, you know what? Okay. Now I've got to prove this. We did that to the Globers. We're going to have to do no, it to wait, each wait, other. Wait, wait, wait. If you can, if you can trump gas pressure, by all means, please do. For I just did. Of years, nobody's been able to. No, I a theory just doesn't prove. Did a theory? An ocean, an ocean of air. If if there is there is possibility that the air acts like an ocean and it's an ever less dense thing going you up. Back to the understanding of what a gradient is. People try to Radius act like there can be no pressure without a container, but the ocean disproves that. No, because ocean is liquid. Air is gas. Atmospheric pressure, it's not the same. 
But one is a liquid, one is like a gas. Corey said, okay, insane. but like Corey said on a macro scale, I don't know that. Then you go test it. I know that on a macro scale, yeah. Absolutely, we do know on a macro scale. It's been proven. But I don't think you're bigger than, you know, we're like ants to the scale I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, but you so, so are you still saying you believe that there is a vacuum of space out there? Uh, I think that no, but I think it's possible that it could exist one day. But I don't think it exists now the you way I was taught because I, my I, vacuum can't, can't, can't have a longer. vacuum and a positive pressure system next to each other. But do you see how you say physics. you can't? You can't, you can't because you are locked in an old no, fashioned way because, of thinking. <laughs> because you pressure is proof there is some kind of something solid over our heads. You yes. cannot create a gas pressure without a, okay. without a container. That is the okay. definition of gas pressure. I don't think you're understanding me, but okay. No, I, I do got, understand I got you. you. I got you. Your, your theory is, is flawed. <laughs> I think your theory is flawed. Okay. Well, my theory isn't a theory, but I'll so tell we you that. We disagree you on what gas I pressure. I'll tell you what I enjoy. I enjoy being in this debate, science debate, as a woman. I feel like, you know, awesome being a woman and being an equal peer in a science debate. That we're not. We're not equal peers. Thank you. <laughs> but we are. No, we're not. Wait. So you're like a glober saying a flat a earther. Science degree. You don't. Wait. We're not equal peers. So you're saying you're acting like a glober. A glober will no. act like a flat earther no, is no. not an equal peer either. No. And flat earther, we, a uh, flat earther is an equal hold peer. On, hold on. What is the definition? I'm what gonna, is the definition, Sydney, of peer? Guys, guys, chill, please, for a second. Just because we're flat earthers doesn't make I, us peer. I'm, please, hold on. <laughs> I'm not, not trying to be a dick. I'm, I trying, I'm wanna... trying to base on. 